Hey everybody, Brixel here, and as you can see, Armour 3 is here. It was finally released a couple of days ago. I finally managed to get in to the game to actually play a little bit, just to see what it's all about, uh, how it's improved, because I didn't play the beta, almost entirely didn't play the beta. I think I only played one little game about halfway through the beta phase so all I know from what I've talked about with some of the tier 1 folks and what I've read from some of the tier 1 folks is that obviously there is the new main island and there are also several new bits and pieces of which I'm not going to go into because most likely you've already seen some of this new stuff what I am going to do this video about is literally this island, this beautiful island that is very, very beautiful. But I want to give you my feelings of this game. Now that it's technically been fully released, although it's nowhere near finished, which I have noticed from the small amount of time that I've played in Armour 3, it's nowhere near finished, and they've not completed almost any of the storyline in terms of uh, the single player experience but for me that doesn't really matter too much for some people it will what i want to talk to you about is the feel of the game how i felt because i've played operation flashpoint and i've played armor one and i've played armor two and i've played queen's gambit and fucking operation arrowhead and all those games and all those DLCs or add-on packs as they were used to be called back then. I've played all that sort of stuff. I've played a lot of that stuff. So I've had a lot of feelings about the games and how they've improved over the years. Now, in Operation Flashpoint, the game was very, very good. But it was very, very basic in the sense that the systems we see now in Armour 3 are basically adaptations of the systems that were used in Operation, Fla F uh, Operation F Flashpoint. Now, those systems have been utilised and adapted all the way through the series of Armour and Armour 2. More so now, obviously, with Armour 3, because of this new kind of engine, this kind of new graphical fidelity, as it were. Now, at the ground level a lot of the things are the same and unfortunately for me a lot of the things have changed and those changes to me have kind of spoilt my experience of armor 3 some of the my vivid memories of armor the original armor and armor 2 were kind of spoilt in some way to play this game because in armor and armor 2 the system was already created from Operation Flashpoint, and the basis and the basics of the game were there already. All they needed to do was just to make sure that the graphical style and the feel of the game was just that little bit better, and it was brought up and everything made sense, and the familiarity from Operation Flashpoint was the same. And I remember spending hundreds of hours playing Armour and Armour 2 and just feeling great about the game and feeling how interesting and diverse this game was really is. Now I'm not saying Armour 3 is not that, in fact what I'm trying to say is that Armour 3 is even more diverse than Armour 2 and Armour 1 were ever going to be and with the amount of mods that will be coming out over the next week, weeks and weeks and months and all that sort of stuff, more stuff will probably be created for Armour 3 than will have ever been created for Armour and Armour 2 because I can see this game running for a long tip period of time but what I'd love to be able to do is to switch places with me in a couple of years playing this game to me now and having the experience of going through all of that period of things and patches and changes to where the game feels as good as Armour 2 felt when Operation Arrowhead came out or when Queen's Gambit came out for Armour. You know, that that feel of just getting that little bit extra that will take you over the edge of really liking the game and really loving the game. Because at the moment, I feel this game 
is massive and it's going to take a long time for me to have it all sink into my body and all sink into my may and my mind and my feelings and do you know what i think i've been spoilt with the alpha and the beta i really wished they wouldn't have brought the alpha out, and i wish they went just straight to the beta rather than the alpha now some people will say but you've you know you've missed the 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 game being created almost in front of your eyes and i will say to them that i've i've kind of spoilt my love for this game blossoming in kind of a way that i wanted it to like in opera in operation flashpoint and armor and armor 2 i just feel that i feel bad about that and it's made me not love this game as much as it should be loved because just look at the game it is stunningly beautiful you have to admit that this game is beautiful to look at some people will say but the, f the physics don't work very well or the animations don't work well or it's too cluttered or it's too it's too clunky with, with the movements and the keys and all that sort of stuff but i will say this forget the gameplay itself when i walk into the, these trees down here if I there was a threat of an enemy anywhere around me, I'd feel quite tense walking into these trees or running, as as it would seem. I'm running. Now, back in the day, tree warfare in the trees in woods and forests and all that sort of stuff, in armor and armor two, were a deadly place to be because the AI would work against you. In this game, I don't. I, I still think the AI works against you, but I don't think they're as potent as they used to be, and I think that is a, a half decent thing to have done. But the way this game has been set up, the shadows. I mean, the shadow. Look at the shadows. They, even on my particularly terrible um, graphics, which aren't exactly top rate, the shadows and the general feel of the game is just looking very, really, very good. I mean, look, that's a stick there. I didn't notice that at first. I just thought it was on the ground, but it's not. It's actually there, sticking out, which I didn't notice before. I thought it was just a texture. I thought that's a pretty shit texture, and it turns out to be a really, actually decent-looking stick. Now, yes, some of these textures look like they've come straight for Armour 2, and some of them, like the far textures in particular, aren't rendered properly and aren't 100%. Now, this is two reasons why that is the first reason is that my computer isn't running this game particularly well in fact my get my computer is running quite shitly this armor 3 released version and there's a reason behind that is because it's a bit old and it's not particularly very very good the second reason is is that the settings that i'm currently running the game at don't render properly anyway because it's they're set to like medium which means that you sacrifice distance for graphical um, beauty, as it were. So, for instance, if I look at these textures down here, they're not particularly as good as the textures that are right here, obviously, because they're not being rendered. And over there, the textures aren't even good at all. Whereas, you know, that's what you get in these sort of games, especially when the, the world is so open, as you can see. This kind of brings me round to the point that this game although it looks fantastic close up at a distance it kind of looks a little bit not bland but it looks a bit kind of dead sort of in a way you know it, it kind of looks just like like someone's painted a picture of a landscape and really like really badly painted a picture of a landscape but if you're used to armor 2 or if you're used to armor you'll understand that being this world that being the the world that we live in the world that this is which is just the way it has to be unfortunately because if we were to try and get those hills over there to render properly my computer would literally just say nope and shut down anyway let me get to the final point of this video because I'm kind of ad-libbing a lot of this. You probably understood that with the fact that I was talking a bunch of shit earlier, but that's just the way I roll. This game, I haven't got the right feeling for at the moment. 
my feeling for this game is more like I'm I'm kind of just choring my way through it, like it's some kind of chore rather than something to look look at and love and behold and you know put on a pedestal as it were and admire. Whereas you know Armor Two and Armor were games which when I would walk through them with players and people, I just feel an awe around me how beautiful these locations were and how well made they were whereas with armor 3 although i they are well made there's no doubt how well made this game is i just haven't got that same feeling and it it not tears me up inside but it really it doesn't make me want to play this game as much as armor 2 made me want to play it or armor 1 made me want to play it and i haven't got that spending 30 hours a week playing it where I used to play in Armour 2 or in Armour 1. You know, I mean, if I can get two or three hours in one session, maybe a week, I'd feel quite content with that. I'd, And if I play nothing at all, I don't exactly miss it. And that is where this game falls short, is the fact that when I'm not playing it, I don't miss it. Whereas with Armour 2, when I used to go to work, when I used to go out for the weekend or something, I'd think to myself, man, I could be playing Armour 2 right now, or man, I miss that. I miss the guys that I play Armour 2 with. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's the fact that when I played Armour 2, I played with a specific group of people for a long time. And maybe it's the missing of those people that has kind of twisted this game into something that doesn't feel right. Even though I'm with Tier 1 and a lot of the Tier 1 people are actually former members of the former team that I used to play for. It just doesn't feel the same. And this long-winded video is going to end here by me saying this. I'm not giving up on this game at all. There is no way I will be giving up on this game so soon after it's been released. I will be doing some videos on this game. Playing with Tier 1, maybe a couple of mod videos, maybe just to see what's going on. But I will say this. If if the game doesn't feel like it should to me, after I've played a couple of weeks worth of game, then I can't honestly see it taking my interest enough to fulfil what I'd have what I did the last time an armor game came out and just literally spend hundreds of hours playing it. Anyway, I hope I haven't bored the fuck out of you all for talking about shit, which you may not really understand why I love Ar the Armour series so much. And I really appreciate you sticking around for the entirety of this video. It's really um, a pleasure to have you here. And up to all those new people who have subscribed in the last like two, uh, week or so, purely on the basis of um, coming from the old channel, which is still up, but it's not really it's not doing anything. Um, I can only promise that there will be some Armour 3 in the near future. And when it gets here, I hope it, has, it will make me feel better about this game. But for now, um, I'll say good, my, my goodbyes. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully see you next time.